So what is your comment on the statement of the Deputy Solicitor General of India that there is no contempt on the OCI case? Is the Deputy Solicitor General of India in Goa suggesting that the copy of the petition was served on the Ministry and that he made the statement in the High Court without complete instructions from the Ministry? If the Ministry had given instructions of 4th April 2024 OM, knowing that the matter was sub judice, it was the bounden duty of the Ministry to update the Deputy Solicitor General of the Corrigendum dated 30th April 2024 and before the matter came to be decided by the High Court on 6th May 2024. Failure to do so and mislead the Honourable High Court without placing the Corrigendum on record is clear contempt. If the Ministry was not informed nor intimated of the petition, then the question would be who briefed the Deputy Solicitor General and on whose instructions the Deputy Solicitor General made the statement and produced the OAM in the High Court. So what do you think is the way forward for the Union Government on this issue to avoid contempt? One option which they have is to go back to the High Court, tender unconditional apology and set out the circumstances how this corrigendum came to be issued and why it was not brought to the notice of the High Court and the Deputy Solicitor General and the person responsible should own up for it. They would also need to tell the court if they were aware of the pendency of the proceedings in the High Court. The second option would be to grant the OCI registration to those who move the High Court, but this would clearly be a move which is an attempt to fool the High Court. Don't you think that the government of India would be in further risk in granting the OCI cards despite the corrigendum only with an intention of fooling the High Court? It surely is and it would be a high risk because they would face this and the consequences later when other petitions are filed. CM also made a statement yesterday saying that the people have not been cheated and no information was hidden, no suppressed. What do you have to say on this? First, I would like you to see the post of CM on 21st April 2024 on Facebook, an identical one on Twitter now called X, where he said, Great news for the people of Goa. MEA has issued clarification that revocation certificate will also be a valid document in lieu of surrender certificate for obtaining OCI card. I thank the union government led by PM Narendra Modi ji, Home Minister Sri Amit Shah ji, Minister of External Affairs Dr. S. Jai Shankar ji and Ministry of External Affairs MOS that is Minister of State Srimati Minakshi Lekhi for accepting the request of the state government that would provide huge relief to thousands of Goans and their families. And what they did was, what was done was, paragraph 3 of that OM was highlighted in green color. I repeat the words, great news for the people of Goa. MEA has issued a clarification that revocation certificate will also be a valid document in lieu of surrender certificate for obtaining OCI card. Now the Corrigendum of 30th April 2024 deletes this green highlighted para 3 and replaces with text saying that the matter is under consideration. Does it need a person with post graduation to understand what has happened? Is it not a complete U-turn? The OM of 4th April was announced on 21st April as I just read to you, that is before our elections. The corrigendum is dated 30th April but was announced through the press on 12th May after our elections were over. This corrigendum was not brought to the notice of the High Court on 6th May 2024 when it heard and decided those petitions. There is no post nor tweet by CM nor by BJP on this corrigendum. Is this not clearly a cheating of the people? When the corrigendum is not uploaded nor tweeted by the CM nor by the BJP, is this not a suppression or hiding of facts and of this corrigendum? Did the CM or the BJP in the similar manner as they did on 21st May? Thank uh, PM Modi ji, Sri Amit Shah ji, uh, Dr. Shankar, Jai Shankar ji and uh, Srimati Minakshi Lekhi ji, all were they thanked for this corrigendum? 
I think you, you can read what comes out from this. It doesn't require more to be stated. So would this corrigendum affect a lot of Goan Catholics? While a large number of Goan Catholics have taken uh, this uh, Portuguese registration and acquired Portuguese citizenship, you should not forget Goa, Daman and Diu was part of the Portuguese colony. And therefore you have also Daman and Diu which qualifies for people from the, those places to register and lot of people from Daman and Diu who are Gujaratis originally and with Gujarati background having registered. A larger number of them have registered their births in Portugal and it will affect not just uh, the Goan Catholic uh, because there are also Goan other non-Catholics who have also registered but a larger number of people from uh, Daman and Diu with a Gujarati background or from Daman and Diu background who would also stand affected and would not be able to get this uh, registration as OCI on account of such revocation.